Hi everyone, it's Shelly with Shelly's Creative Crafts again. Welcome back. Um, just wanted to share um, a, another journal that I uh, just finished and I really love how it turned out. I think it's really, really feminine and dainty and vintage and oh, I just love it. So um, not to not to belittle or belabor the point, but I will jump right in. Um, so the uh, front part is, it's fabric um, and it has three signatures. And then the back part, um, has just um, just the fabric itself. Um, I love this fabric. I love like roses and flowers and whatnot. Um, and then the the closure, I put some beads um, on it and um, have some flowers down here at the bottom to kind of match the the overall um, color scheme of the fabric. So I thought that was really pretty. Um, and then the opening um, is just a loop, and this is a bead. And then the loop um, just goes right over that. So we'll jump right on in here. Um, so to start with, um, I didn't do pockets on this one because it's really jam-packed full of um, really a lot of goodies. So I didn't, um, and plus I wanted the lace to show. Um, found this really gorgeous vintage lace and I just think it's beautiful. So starts out, I did another um, Franken page on just the uh, first signature. And um, I have this really old, um, I don't know if it's a magazine or um, I'm not really sure what it is, but it's a French um, publication and it's really, really old. And I found this um, picture in there and I just thought that it was so adorable. Um, so I made a pocket out of it. And then of course, um, put in um, a real pretty tag um, that can be journaled on or maybe used as a, you know, a gift tag, you know, anything like that. Um, I did um, Mod Podge this because it was very, very fragile. Um, so I did Mod Podge it to give it a little bit more <clears throat> sturdiness and, you know, stability and that sort of thing. Um, the other side of that fragment page and then we'll just jump right on in. Um, this is one of the beads that I made, um, kind of the boho is ish kind of beads, um, but a little bit more vintage flair, um, and just put some charms on it just to kind of dangle. So I thought that was really pretty. Um, and then this is just a, um, a card, a journaling card that I made and then a little tuck spot with some tickets. <clears throat> and then this is, um, obviously I don't know if you can see the whole thing. Um, I've got a pocket down here and then just a, a doily, um, embellishment. And then a little um, bag that just has a, um, a little tag in it. And you can actually um, put something in the back. I didn't um, secure it all the way down, so you can actually put something in the back there as well. Um, so that goes like that. And then um, up a side pocket. And then I put um, this little card in it. It, um, it just says for you. And um, this is obviously die cut it out and then just a blank little card um, on the inside. And then, um, then just a little bit of bling, just a little embellishment on the side with some uh, flowers and some little, um, little, I guess, glittery, I don't know what they're called, they're little flat back um, things. And then more blank paper, as, as always, I try to leave um, as much blank as I can for you guys to be able to write your own, your own memories and, you know, do your own thing with it. Um, this is a glassine bag with just some little ephemera in it. Um, just some cute little mini ephemera. I love it. I think I love the, er, anything miniature. I think it's so adorable. Um, so that just kind of tucks back in there. And, um, the other side of course, um, is a double kind of tuck. And then I have this stationery that I thought was really pretty. Um, and it says, now you finally earned your wings. It's time for you to soar um, with a real pretty hummingbird. So incorporated that in. I just thought that that was really, really cute and just kind of went with the theme of the journal with the flowers and whatnot. Um, some scrapbooking paper, some stamping. Um, I love the bird and the bird nest. And just kind of reminded me of spring, I guess. I guess I'm kind of in that mode. Um, and then this is um, a real pretty... Um, picture that I had um, and I actually made it into um, a trifold so it comes out and then so there's plenty a lot of journaling space here obviously for photos or whatever um, and then a little bit of journaling space here middle of the first signature and then just a little bit of side embellishments um, again the bird with the bird's nest I love that stamp I think it's so so adorable um, and then the back of the scrapbooking paper. And then um, I saw on, I think it's 
Kimmy Koo. I certainly don't want to mess up the name, but, um, or Kylie Koo. There it is. Um, I saw that she had made some of these, and so, of course, I had to have a go at it. Um, and I just made these with different sayings, and I love this one that says memories. Um, with some cheese cloth and just a little bit of bling behind it. Um, the other side of that um, side pocket, and then I put in just one of these little cards. I love these. Share a memory with love, and so that can go back in there. And then more side embellishments. I had a, a sticker of, of an old perfume bottle and then some stamping, and then of course um, some side embellishments. And then the back side of that first Franken page, so that's the first signature. And then this one um, is very vibrant and colorful. It has old uh, vintage cameras and that sort of thing. And this um, came from a um, someone who gifted me a bunch of really old vintage um, cards. And so I kind of did my own spin on it. Um, and this, this way you can write on it or maybe put pictures in there. But I really thought it was really colorful and pretty. And I put a perfect day up there and just kind of reminded me of maybe going to the park or something, you know. And then I have a little embellishment down here that says play. And then, of course, more blank paper, more coffee dyed paper. This is um, an envelope that I really distressed um, with a lot of different inks and stamps and um, thought that was really, really kind of neat, actually. Um, and then put some more um, just real cute stationery um, that I have. I remember all this old stationery, like from when I was growing up and whatnot. So, um, but of course, once that's used up, it can just be used as a regular pocket or tuck, and then um, just some more um, scrapbooking paper, and then this um, is a fold-out, so again, more journaling space, so lots of space to write on, and then I thought this was really pretty, um, and then a pocket uh, made out of um, music paper, and then I found this really, um, this really pretty card, and I thought that it would be pretty um, for someone to put some ribbon or something in, you know, whatever. Um, so I didn't do too much with it. I just left it um, the way that it is. I left it blank. So um, whomever gets this journal can, you know, really, really do whatever they'd like with that. Um, and then more um, side embellishments, um, some music paper. I thought this would be pretty to put some pictures on, um, you know, it's kind of a backdrop or something. Um, just a little bit of decoupage. And then um, I love the scrapbooking paper. And then of course a, this right here is actually um, a pocket and it actually has four. So you can do one and then two and then three and then the back is not secured down all the way, so four. Um, so I will actually um, put a couple more things um, in here. I actually missed that one, so I apologize for that. Um, but it's a cupcake liner and I thought it made a really cute um, pocket. So that was something unique. Um, and then more blank paper, um, another one of those um, distressed envelopes, and then um, and I included another share a memory with love card. Um, actually, all the envelopes in the journal have those in there. I love those little cards. I think they're really, really cute and special. Um, again, another one of those tiles. Um, this one says share, and this one says um, laugh. Um, so I thought that was really pretty. And then, um, of course, a little bit more uh, pink embellishments. And um, this right here um, is a belly band, obviously. And then um, I did a side um, paper clip with another uh, one of the beads that I made. Um, and this one says truly. And then, of course, this is um, a real pretty uh, note card, a set that I have that are really, really pretty. Um, so I wanted to definitely include that in there. Um, so that just slides right back in there, and then um, the paper clip can just, you know, obviously keep that in, in a place for you or, you know, whatever. So that goes like that. And then um, just a little bit of stamping with some lines and a real pretty little design. Um, this is a fabric um, that I have that I absolutely love. It's a shabby chic fabric, um, and then with a tag that I made out of old book pages and put some gesso on the back so that it can be written on. Um, so I thought that was really cute. And just a little bit of embellishment down here in the bottom. Um, this is some graph paper that I coffee dyed and um, just some more little side embellishments. 
<clears throat> and then this one is um, another little side tuck with another um, cute little tag that I made. I did just a little bit of script stamping um, on that, so that can just tuck there um, with a paper clip. And then the other side, of course, you can add whatever you like to that. Um, and then this can actually be used as a tuck as well. Um, I have some old, really, really old, again, the same relative that gifted me um, that card gifted me some... Uh, they were fussy cut already, so I can only imagine. I mean, they're super duper old, um, but I thought that they looked really pretty um, with this doily and some cheesecloth. This is another one of the um, um, fancy, or what is it, fussy cut <laughs> um, uh, images that was given to me as well with some really old vintage lace, um, so I love that as well. And then the other side of that card, rather than leave it with like the happy birthday or whatever, I did do some gesso so that you can write on it um, and just kind of make it your own. And then the back side of the vintage camera um, scrapbooking paper. And again, like I said, I have a lot of um, old stationery. Um, so I incorporated that in. That can be written on or pictures, you know, whatever. Um, and then just some little scrapbook, um, you know, just blank paper that you can write on. And then um, more of that stationery. And then um, these um, are some note um, sheets that I have that I uh, actually made just a little, like a little tablet or whatever, and um, stitched that at the top so it, you know, can fold up and that sort of thing or pull up and can write on that. Um, and then just a little bit more stamping. Um, this is a really bright, um, vibrant uh, stationery that I have. And then this. Uh, pocket down here I uh, was uh, out of a real pretty um, painting book and then um, a real pretty uh, tag that I made to go in there kind of matches the flowers um, on there so, and then more stamping this is from the garden of and then um, more of that uh, stationery um, this is a little stamp set that I have with a house and a tree and then I put good times um, this one is a side embellishment that says believe and then more of that um, uh, stationery again the other side of that another one of the um, distressed envelopes that I did um, a fabric swatch on with a, um, a pen with a button and then you know the real distress look um, and then of course in it is one of those little cards which I love those when I run out I'm gonna be so sad but they're really cute. I like those. Um, and then some more of the uh, stationery, and then get into the end here. Another one of those um, really old vintage fussy cut um, images. That I, they're really, really, really gorgeous. Um, and then stationery, and then this is just a little embellishment up in the corner. And then getting to the back here, and then a, um, old vintage lace um, with some buttons into the stationery and then this is just a just a little extra that I tucked in it's a, a mini file folder I thought I thought it was adorable and then another one of those sideways um, clips that I, I I left the file folder blank because obviously I want you guys to be able to put you know whatever you want in there or use it however you wish um, so I just left that blank and then um, just kind of tucked it in back here um, but again the um, closure just has a bow so I figured um, you know you could actually undo it as it grows um, so you could put in you know more things and that sort of thing and the, the little loop um, is a little bit firmer than the rest so it's easy to find you know in all the all the seam binding and that sort of thing and then of course the beads you know can lay across like that or they can dangle however you like um, so this will be listed um, in my Etsy shop um, here shortly and I hope you like it and I will talk to you guys soon. I hope you're having a great week and happy almost Friday. Bye. Take care guys.